I never knew what that was until I met you. You are the only reason for my smile. Because I found the reason for my smile the very day I found you. You are everything I ever wanted in a woman. And on this special day of yours, there is no other gift that could surpass the gift of my love to you. Rena. Please, do me the honor, I mean, the greatest honor of being my forever, <laughs> to have and to hold, to love and to cherish, as long as we live. Please, Mary. <sighs> of course I will. Put it right there. <sighs> yes, I will. Oh my God, oh my God. document as soon as possible. Do you understand? Brina! Brina! Oh, yes, ma. Sorry. I'm sorry, ma. I, I drifted. What were you saying? Babe. Look, you really need to start scouting for job elsewhere. <laughs> this is draining the life out of me. Why are you sounding like you don't know how hard it is to get a job in this town? Babe, it is not even worth it at all. Look, what I need now is to relax and be taken care of. <clears throat> I need to be treated like the baby girl that I am. Mm -hmm. Really? Thank God tomorrow is my off day. I can't wait to build my baby. You deserve it, my dear. So what did you cook? What is it? What did you cook? Cook, go. Wait, are you really serious right now? Like, I'm very serious. Please go get me something to eat. <laughs> Do I look like please, your boyfriend? Please, please, The taking care of starts now. Not with me, darling. You, you, your boyfriend. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello, babe. Yeah. This is so relaxing. Like how you feel? Rest your touch. Wow, that's so soothing. How I missed this. Oh, thank you, babe. You're welcome. Come here. Um, I missed you. <laughs> Come on, did you miss me? Bruno, I've missed you. Are you happy now? Yes, I am. Feels good to hear that you missed me. He's calling me. Oh. Did you pick your call? No. I don't want any work-related talk right now. Are you serious? Yeah, I want to spend time with you. In as much I know you want to spend time with me, we should hear her out. It might not be work related. Come on. Hello, ma'am. Brina, I want to see you in my office and it's very urgent. It's my day of today. And who cares? I want to see you here in 30 minutes. Oh. I'm sorry about that. I understand you want to spend some time with me, but. It's what it is. You have to run along. Oh. Shouldn't okay. I have picked that call? Oh. 
Ah, uh, babes. What's going on? I'm not expecting you to be home this early. Clara called, so I need to go to work. Work? Yeah. Is today not supposed to be your off day? I thought so too. <sighs> but she called me. Anyways, that's not my problem now. I don't know if I'm overthinking this or it's just in my head. Mm -hmm. I have this feeling that Chris is giving me attitude. Then again, I don't want to jump into a conclusion, but I have this feeling, like I can feel it, like he's seeing someone else. I don't know if it's because I barely have time for him because of work. I don't know. My dear. Men are never to be trusted. They will always thin your white. Your fears are valid, but then... I think you should just cut him some slack. What if he's having a hard time or something? Right. Look, I think if you really want to retain your job, you should really start gets going. You know, Clara. You're right. I don't want her trouble. <laughs> You are 30 minutes late. Excuse me, ma. With all due respect, you should be grateful that I came. I should be grateful for putting food on your table. Are you a clown? For saving your ass and handling things you can't handle. You will not do that. Not today. As a matter of fact, I am sick and tired of you bossing me around. You give me too much work on top of the too much schedule I have already. I do everything. I am smart. I am articulate. I'm everything a good staff should be, but you don't appreciate it. Look, if you think it's that easy, you sit down and do everything by yourself. Are you really talking to me? Of course I am. As a matter of fact, you're fired. Go pick your things and leave this premises at once. of increment on your rent. What? And it's also a reminder that your rent is due. Sir. Every other thing you need to know is in the letter. What's the mean of this? You can just increase my rent now. Have a nice day. And don't go about slapping people. I'm, I'm really sorry. What, what, what? I don't understand. Why are you increasing my rent? Just like that? As you rightly read, your rent has increased. The annual rent for your apartment right now is one million naira. What? And the period of grace given to you hasn't lasted. Listen to me, you have just one month to pay up. Else, you will be evacuated. That's the basics. Whatever you know is in the letter. Have a nice day. Sorry. 
I'm sorry if it's because of... What? Anita, see, I'm sorry for the order of days, but you really cannot stay here. Please, I want you to understand with me. Why? Why, Chris? I thought you... You said you loved him, Chris. Chris, why can't I stay here? Why? Anita, a man can say anything. Oh. Okay. A man can say it. A man can say anything, right? Don't just put me into trouble. I need to leave here now, okay? Just go. I'll figure things out, okay? Chris! Are you okay? And what is going on? You can't talk. No. You, you, you know we spoke about getting her help and, and PA, so uh, <clears throat> I brought her to see if you like her. Really? You're very stupid! What do you take me for? A fool? <sighs> Come back here! I'm sorry, Mama. <clears throat> if I see you anywhere close to him again, you will regret your life. Now get out. For you. Now go to my car and get me my handbag. Fast! Out of the way! Nonsense. God, not again. What is it? Remember that company we invested in? Greenleaf? Yes. They have folded. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! It was a scam all along. Information reaching me says the CEO is nowhere to be found. And millions of people have lost their money. Please tell me you're joking. Oh my God. Oh my God. My God! So, Chris, tell me, what have I not done for you? I've done almost everything for you to make you happy. Why, why just decide to gallivant around those stupid and good for nothing girls? I'm sorry, my sugar. I promise you today it will never happen again. Now, if you don't want to see the other side of me, Come on, give mommy some sugar. <sighs> mm. That reminds me. Brina has been fired. And I know you'll be gallivanting around here. Well, I will advise you kill all your feelings for her. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Because you'll not like to see the other side of me. Okay. That's my boy. Come on. Come here, boy. Come on. Mm. Mm. You know, I missed you, right? I've missed you too. Uh. <laughs> I want you. 
everything I want you about is happening. Brina, didn't the crash of MMM teach you something? You have lost everything. I've lost everything I labored for in my life. My life savings. My five million naira is gone. Huh? Gone. Five million. So you had five million naira and you didn't tell me about it? I'm telling you that I lost all my life savings. Everything I've been laboring for in my life. That is all gone and that's what you have to say. God. Stop crying. You brought it upon yourself. Yes. If you had told me about this, I am sure all this wouldn't have happened. Mom, look, this, this is not the time to lay blame on me or say whatever you have to say. I'm telling you what I'm going through and that, look at what you're saying to me. Maybe if you've been a, a good mother to me, I would have made better choices and, and, and decisions in life. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I will not take that one. You don't talk to me like that. Brenda, I am not your father that walked away. Mom. Yes. I am sure he saw it that you will never amount to anything good. That was why he left you. You had so much money and you kept it to yourself. You tell not to tell me so that I won't know you. I lost everything, everything. Now I have to go live with my overbearing mom. This is not how I planned my life. I understand. Well, you know, sometimes things don't happen the way we plan them. But why me? Why me? Why should I be the person to go through all of this? Calm why down, me? please. Okay, you may have lost everything, but you haven't lost me. I am here for you and will always be. Together, you and I will scale through. I love you and trust me. This too shall pass. Thank you so much. And I love you too. Can, what, can I, what can this money do for me now? What problem can it solve? I still have my rent to pay. God, God, what do I do? What do I do? Why me? Why me? Ah, God. What kind of life is this? What can, what, can I, what can I do with this money now? What?
please. No, no, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I forgive you. It's okay. Thank you so much, Brenna. I promise I will never ever betray you again. Not even in my wildest imagination. Thank you. Welcome. It's okay. I forgive you. Thanks. God, it was only a dream because there's no way in this world I'll forgive that stupid girl. Wait, is this a sign? Travel. Forgive. Hmm. I'm sure this is a sign. I need to take a break. I need to breathe. Yes, this is a sign. By the power vested in me, by me, I hereby decide to take a three-day vacation in Abuja. Yes. I need to cool off so I can reconnect. I will not die with my problems. I will leave. Yes. I can't continue like this. I need a break. Because that's the only way I can face my mom. Yes. I am going on a vacation. This is the sign. Yes. I'm so sorry, my bad. I, I wasn't looking. Oh my God. You okay? Yeah, I'm Are you okay? Fine. I'm, fine. I'm so sorry, forgive me. It's I wasn't okay. looking. It's Good day, ma. Welcome to Ladison Hotel. Thank you. I have a reservation. Okay, please watch your name, ma. Renate. Okay. Okay, 301. Okay. okay. So, what's your swimming pool service? Okay, our swimming pool is open from 12 p.m. every day and it's free for our lodgers, ma. Okay. Alright, ma. You're welcome to Ladison Hotel. Your room is on the third floor and the porter will help you out.
Thank you, Lord, for the good and the bad times. In just a day, I lost everything, but I didn't lose my life, and I'm grateful for that. No need to question you, Lord, because I know your plans for me are of good and not of bad. I trust in you. Are you sure this is not God testing me? No, God is not an author of confusion. Okay, so what do I do now? Should I reach out to the owner or just skip this one? I'm good, and you? I'm all right. How was your night? It was good. Great. Um, I got a call to come pick up my wallet here. Yes, I believe this belongs to you. You Great. dropped it the other day. You bumped into me. Thank you so much. Um, I've actually been looking for this. I couldn't seem to figure out where I dropped it, but thank you. You're welcome. Just be careful next time, especially when you're in a hurry. <laughs> thank you very much. Welcome. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Good. 
guy. You know, even tell me, say, you come. Now, wow. But and I needed a change of environment to clear up my head. And also oversee the operation of my, my company here in Abuja. My workers are acting up. Wow. Clear your head. What exactly is going on? And this is your workers you keep complaining about. They have literally become a menace. The story is somehow, but I, I'll tell you about it later. Well, I hope that you're able to find someone to run things for you because these guys are stressing you out. Honestly, man, I am stressed out. But whoever messes up will definitely have me to contend with. I'm serious. I'm serious. Okay. Well, in any case, it's good to have you in town. Yeah, bro. <laughs> My G. My God. Man, I love what I'm seeing. I love what I'm seeing. Come on, yeah. I thought that was you. I was hoping to bump into you. How are you doing? Hey, what, what's wrong? Are you crying? <laughs> Look, just, just calm down, okay? Whatever it is, don't let it overwhelm you. You can talk to me if you want to. Pretty girls don't cry. I just want to be left alone. Come on, you don't expect me to leave you alone in this state. Come on. You can trust me. Hey, 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 just calm down, okay? You know what, just hold that down. I'll be right back. I don't know what you drink, so I got you what I would drink. This is yours, and this is mine. Thank you. Talk to me. What's wrong? Come on, you can trust me. They say that a problem shared is half solved, right? I'm not gonna talk about it. Maybe next time, not today. Okay, no pressure. We can just sit here and drink. Is that okay? Madam Snow, you're finally awake. You've been sleeping for three hours straight and snoring. I don't snore. Sorry, say that again. I don't snore. Oh, okay. Just uh, give me a second. Let me play something for you real quick. Hell no, that's not me. 
No problem. I've got video evidence as well. Just give me a second. <laughs> Denied that one. <laughs> Come on, everybody smells. It's natural. Yeah. And what do you expect? I think I had so much to drink. No thanks to you. Put the blame on me. Anyway, I uh, I have to go. I guess I will see you later. Thank you so much for everything. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, everyone needs someone to lean on when they go and get stuff, right? I'll see you around. Oh my god. Ouch. Guy, you've been smiling all day. What's up, you? My brother, nothing, oh. How do you mean nothing, oh? How have you been smiling? I just have inner peace. I feel happiness within. Is that a crime? Why are you happy? I really don't know. I don't understand. You're happy and you don't know why you're happy. <laughs> that means you are, you're about to run mad. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay, fine. I will level with you, all right? Okay. <clears throat> but before I say anything, I need your help. Go ahead. I'm going to need one of your best pickup lines. I need to use it because I feel like I have finally found that somebody's daughter that is meant to be mine. Oh. I see. It's all about a woman. Yeah. So, if you want to tell me you've been, you've been like this because of a woman. First of all, that is not the pickup line I asked for. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Let me give you a pickup line. Bro, if you're liking a woman, all you have to do is this. Walk up to her, tell her what she means to her. If she's meant for you, she would say as and that's it. Hmm. You actually make a lot of sense. Of course, I always make sense. Well, not always, but I mean, this one time I'll I always to. make sense, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I'll do it your way. You have to. Meanwhile, I am happy for you. Finally. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Uh, how was your day? Nothing much. Just hanging in the sick. Thank, thank you. <clears throat> <sighs> so, are you ready? For to tell me why you were crying yesterday. You said you tell me today. Did I say that? Yes, you did. I don't think I did. <laughs> Maybe it was the alcohol talking. Regardless, I am asking now. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Come on, we are friends now, are we not? Yeah, but it's a really long story. And I don't think you would want to hear it. Wow, because... Coincidentally, I actually like stories, especially the long ones. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I'm, I'm here on a vacation as a form of escapism from the troubles I'm dealing with life, all of it. The setbacks, the troubles just here to escape away from them. I lost my job, my relationship, my house, my investments, my life savings, all of it in just one day. The thought of going back to nothing breaks me down, makes me so sad. I'm so sorry to hear that. All I wanted was to love and be loved right back. 
make money, live life. But everything disappeared in a flash. Everything I worked for, all of it, I lost it just one day. Mm. I feel so frustrated. I feel so sad. I feel so pained. I feel lost. I feel empty. Okay. I am okay. I'm it's real. Okay. It's okay. I'm really sorry you're having to go through this. But believe me when I tell you, everything happens for a reason. It may not seem like it right now, but trust me, in time, you will see. Okay? Life is just so hard. So hard. If you let me, I'd like to be your friend and be there for you. You're a nice person. You don't deserve to go through this. Good. <laughs> now that's the funniest thing I've heard today. <laughs> so are you trying to say I'm, I'm a clown? <laughs> Don't play that way. You have a great sense of humor. I think that's the best way to put it. I'll take I that as a compliment. Yes, it is a compliment. <laughs> hmm. Are you okay? What's with the sudden drop in um, in energy and mood? I'll be leaving Abuja tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. Why? Because my time and my money is up. I have to leave. And the sad part is I have to go put up with my mom. She's a handful. I'm not even looking forward to that. But I don't have any other option right now. That's the only option. <sighs> Why don't you let me help you? Yes, let me help you find a way to stay. I could talk to this friend of mine. I am almost 100% certain that he should be able to help. Let it be my way of paying you back for your kindness. Are you sure about this? Of course I'm sure. Look, all I want is for you to be happy, okay? And if staying here makes you happy, then I'll do everything in my power to make that happen. <sighs> Just, just let me try, you know, there's no harm in trying. You never know. What do you say? <laughs> let, let me think about it. Do I have your okay. permission? <laughs> let me, I'm, I'm speechless. Okay, oh. I will see what I can do. But in the meantime, try and cheer up, okay? <laughs> I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. great. That's much better. <laughs> You were saying something over the phone. Yeah. Look, I think I may have found the perfect person to run and manage your company here. Well, interesting. Yes, she's a friend of mine. She's very good. She's a nice person and she does need the job. It's okay. I, I'll think about it and get back to you. Thank you very much. I'd really appreciate if you gave her this opportunity. I got you, bro. I will have to do my due diligence first. Of course, absolutely. But I guarantee you, you are not going to regret it. Of course, I trust you. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're welcome. You. You really have to go. Yes, I have to. You know, while you prepare for the best, you should also expect the worst. I already told you I spoke to my friend, all right? She'll get back to me soon. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate all you do for me. You're welcome. Oh, by the way, I uh, got you some takeout from the restaurant. Wow, that's so thoughtful of you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're such a nice person. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Give 
I'm Sabrina. You remember me? Have we met before? In not in real life though. Yes. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm 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 sorry. Es excuse my manners. I'm just a bit nervous because of the interview. Sit. Sit. Okay. You're welcome. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. So, moving forward, Miss Brenner, I must say I am quite impressed with what I saw in your CV. But I want to know, why should I hire you? Marina? Um, sir, I'm, I'm here, I'm listening. Okay. Mm. I said, why should I hire you? Okay, from my research and what I learned, your company is in need of an administrative manager who is very strong in project management and very good organizational skills. And I believe my experience aligns with your company's requirements. I'm a very analytical person. I believe in teamwork. I'm a good leader. I believe that if I'm given the opportunity to work in this company with my diverse skills, this company is going to achieve its aims and objectives. Sir. That's quite impressive. Thank you very much for your time. We'll get back to you. Hey. Okay. Yeah, we're done. Okay, sir. Yes. Thank you. Uh, oh, so I can... Yes. Please. Okay. How is this even possible? The man I see in my dream, I'm seeing him in real life. Oh my God, he looks even more handsome in real life. God, what do I do now? How do I get him to like me? Wait, hold on a minute. I think he smiled at me at some point. So does that mean he sees me in his dreams too? If it does, then that makes it easier. God, please help me. Help me. Job at the prestigious Limelight Corp as your new administrative manager. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, thank you. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I have a job now. Ah! Yes. <laughs> thank you so much, Eden. I appreciate this. Oh, thank oh, come you. On, come on. I mean, you deserve oh the very God. best. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> it is happening. Best believe it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ethan. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. It's okay. Oh my God, I have a job now. What was that stunt you just pulled? Mom, I needed to clear my head. I needed a break. And that was the only thing that came to my head. And you couldn't tell me about it? As though it wasn't enough, you switched off your phones. Mom, can you just stop? Can you on air tell me exactly what you want to prove? Please stop, okay? Look, I'm an adult. I can do anything I want to do as long as I can afford it. Really? Yes. Oh, fine. 
That is to say you don't need my roof over your head any longer. Because I don't understand how anybody on earth will want me to take you in after all that. Look, Mom, as a matter of fact, I am relocating. I only came here to take my things. I'm done with you. Oh. And look, you can't blame me for any wrong I do to you. You've not been a good mother to me, and you can't start now. Nothing has changed, okay? I'm used to doing things my own way. You don't care about what I do anyways. So don't blame me if I don't let you in on what I do. Welcome to my home. You can stay here for as long as you need to until you're able to find somewhere. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Like I said, I'm I'm glad to help. Just relax and make yourself at home. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of it. I can't remember the last time I stayed in a house rent free. <laughs> Very funny. Let me uh, show you to the room. Nice house. Oh, so that's um that's how it's gonna be. And um Brenna. Sir. You are not paying attention. I am sir. You said we need to come up with a designed for the presentation. You're very smart. Um, thank you, sir. Oh, sir, it's lunchtime and I would like to go get some lunch before it's over. Okay. All right. So go through the file and um, designs. Sure. Okay. Make sure you send the finished project and budget. I'll do that, sir. All right. Um, sir, can, can I buy you lunch? Thanks, but don't stress it. Okay. <laughs> Brainiac. So what are you thinking about? Um, nothing serious. I was just thinking of um, ideas to come up with a perfect design so I can impress my boss. Okay, that's, that's good. So, has any woman ever asked you out? <laughs> um, yes, actually. What did she say to you? Well, she was a, uh, she was quite direct, if I do say so myself. She just walked up to me, said that uh, she thought I was cute, and she liked me, and she would like to date me. Wow, old steps. That was a courageous. <laughs> I know, but yeah, it didn't exactly work out between us. So, yeah. Okay. I was just asking so I could have a backstory for the design I have in my head. Okay, well, all the best of luck with that. Thank you. Let's see what's on TV. <laughs> Thank you. 
Bree, what's keeping you? Okay, because we're running late. Oh my god, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Wow. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What exactly is the occasion? Because you look extra beautiful today. Like, who you want to impress? <laughs> the presentation is today. I need to impress. So I look good, right? You look better than good, but um, good luck today. <laughs> Yeah, I need all the luck I can get. Okay, well, I'm let's ready. Go. All right, let's go. That was a wonderful presentation out there. You did great, and I'm impressed. Thank you, sir. It shows you are good at what you do. Keep it up. <laughs> Thanks to you too. Thank you for giving me wings to fly. By the way, you look extremely beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. So, I'll see you there. All right. Thank you. It's good. All right. Very, very good. Welcome home, my darling friend and brother. Hey. Uh, okay, I'm <laughs> happy that you're happy, but what exactly is going on? I aced my presentation and I got the acknowledgement I needed. Wow, yeah. that is great. I'm so happy for you. Oh, thanks to you. I bless the day our paths crossed. Mm, it's all right. You're welcome. Look, you're a great person, so you deserve the very best. So, guess what? I prepared something special for us. You did? Yes, I did. Okay, because I... Uh, Don't worry, I'll hold on to this while you go upstairs and freshen up. It's a treat, so be fast, okay? Okay. <laughs> to tell her how I feel about her. There's, there's no point to wasting any more time. I love her. That's that's what matters. That's what I will do. <laughs> You've been smiling since you started eating. What's up? Thing. I'm just, I just really like the food. It's delicious. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You're acting funny. What's going on? Me? Mm -hmm. Acting funny? Yeah. I don't think so. Is there something you want to say to me? Um, no. I, I'm just happy, happy for you. You know that you're adapting quite nicely here. Thank you. All thanks to you, my God-sent helper. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Just open your mouth and speak. Express your feelings to her. It's that easy. What are you doing? Just say, I love you. <clears throat> um, Bri. Yeah? I, um, I just, I, I just wanted to say that, um, I really am happy for you. Thank you, but you just said that a few seconds ago. I, I know, I just wanted to say that again. Okay. Thank you, again. You're welcome.
Honestly, guy, that girl is the bomb. She has been so helpful, honestly. Well, I did tell you we are not going to regret employing her, right? Yeah. I'm enjoying every bit of it. And I love her company. You have not been so bright, but all is well. Yeah, everything is fine. It's just, um... There's this girl that I like, right? And I've just not been able to tell her how I feel. Every time I try, words just fail me. So, if I understand you, you need advice from a pro. Well, I wouldn't exactly call you a pro, but yes. I mean, I've done all I can to show her that I care, but I just can't seem to use my words, you know? Okay. First off, you, you, you have to be confident because ladies like confident guys, okay? I mean, you do not expect her to know by your mere act of care. So, you will profess your love to her. You never can tell she may be feeling the same way. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah, yeah I think you're right. I'm right. Always right. <laughs> Or had she to show? Sir, good day. Good day. There is something I, I would want to talk to you about. And please don't be offended. All right, please sit. So, what could that be? Long before I started working here, I've seen you in my dreams. And we had a very beautiful and perfect relationship in the dream. You loved me so much and I loved you too. And the day I came into this office and set my eyes on you in real life, I fell deeper in love with you. Um, this is serious. I I love you so much, and I would want you to please make my dreams come true. Okay. <clears throat> Bree, I am in love with you, and I want you to be my girlfriend. No, 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 no. Don't just blot it out like that. Just, just breathe and just take it easy and just make it smooth. You, know, you just have to be smart about this. You know, just... I feel like I only have one shot to make this right, so... Okay, okay, let's go again. <clears throat> Bree, um... I've known you for so long and I... I feel like you complete me. Oh, come on, dude. Seriously. You have to think, you have to be creative with this, don't just... like we've known each other for so long and 
I would really like for you to be my... Oh. I'm in trouble. That's it. That's it. I, I know what I'll do. I'll just... I'll just speak from the heart. I, I don't have to rehearse the speech. I don't... I'll just, I'll just let it flow from the inside, you know? It will be natural and, and true and, and honest and believable. And it's, yes, that's what I'll do. Problem solved. <laughs> yes. Why didn't I think of this since I didn't need to rehearse the speech? Hmm. That is a great idea. Hey, Green. Hey. What's wrong? Are you okay? Just no, come no. on in. Sure to do. I don't, I don't feel too good. I've been having this crazy headache. A crazy headache since yeah. when? You, you, you look a mess. Like, are you oh, sure you're fine? No. Big, 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 big. So how are you feeling now? Better. You know, I, I really think you should still see a doctor. I don't think there will be need for that. I, I feel better already. I think it was just work stress. That's all. By the way, this, this food is good. It tastes really good. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I made it specially for you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Did you want more? Because there's more where it came from. No. Are you trying to overfeed me? No, right no, now? no, not at all. I'm just, just saying. But are, are you sure? Very sure. This is okay. Okay. This is really nice. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I truly admire your courage. In as much as I don't feel that way yet. But I believe we can build something beautiful together and see where it leads. That's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. By the way, you look and smell nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the compliment. Yeah. It means a lot coming from you. <laughs> hey. hey. Um, I, I have something. <laughs> really? Okay, fine. You go first. Okay. So. So the other day, I mustered enough courage to tell my boss, Asha, how I feel about him. Okay, so what are you saying? How do you feel about him? I love him. That was way before you introduced us. I saw him in my dreams. I saw us have this beautiful relationship, beautiful time together, beautiful memories. And when I lost everything, he came to me in the dream and told me that everything was going to be fine. So today when I... When I see him, he said we should take take it step by step and see how it goes. Wait, wait, hold on, what exactly are you saying? What are you even talking about? Why? Why are you sounding like? Are you not happy for me? Um, I mean, yes, yes, of course, I. Oh, I'm gonna let her out. Okay, so what did you say you wanted to tell me? Um, <clears throat> it's. It, it's nothing, really. <laughs> but you just told me you wanted to talk to me about something. I... Bree. I am in love. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. Whoever the girl is, she's going to be the luckiest girl in the whole wide world. Look at you. I'm so happy for you, bro. I'm so happy. Look, we both are in love. Perfect timing. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Wait, 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 wait. Are, you, are you okay? 
Ouch. You see the headache again? Yeah. yeah. See, see why I told you to finish your medication. Yeah. Sorry. You'll be fine. Oh my god, my head hurts. Look, I'm so happy for you, Evan. Come on, don't do that, yeah? That's more like. Why oh, love? Hi. Hi, Brina. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I just saw your test. What's wrong? How do you feel? I don't feel good. The headache is quite severe. I think I'm having malaria. Okay. I I'm sorry about that, okay? Oh, of course you can take the day off. Yeah. But make sure you see a doctor. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Alright. Take care of you. Bye. Hello? Guy, are they calm now? Are they calm? You see me soon. Guy. This one, joke. Joke. But, do you really like her? Unfortunately, you know, she is the one I was gathering all those tips for. Honestly, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Look, it's all good though. For real, like I'm just I'm just happy that she's happy. And then you, you're my guy now. I cannot be pouring sand inside your own carry. And also, it's advisable for a woman to go for the person that she's in love with. I've heard you, boy. Are you okay with that? Maybe not yet, but I will be eventually. Please don't say any of this to her. I don't want us to have like an awkward friendship. It is what it is. Do not decide to do away with the sir. At least, here is not our office. You're welcome, sir. Please sit. Thank you very much. Ah, for you. Oh, thank you. I decided to come and check up on you. And I hope you're getting better. Yeah, I am. Thank you very much. We really missed you at the office. So, you didn't miss me? Of course I missed you. We all miss you. I missed your smile. The eye contact. <laughs> I missed having you around. Good to know. Yeah. I miss you too. Oh, good to know too. <laughs> Can you have a little pity on your ill self and stop flirting with me? Not a girl. Okay, so what do I offer you? A smile. And what I would do. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay.
your girlfriend are you guys having issues she's fine um you know what i i think i'll just go eat in um in my room i'm sure you're okay 100 percent Want is just to ruin my life, and that I will not just do what you do. I give you money, I do practically everything for you. What else do you want? I don't care about your money anymore. I want my peace of mind and happiness. Don't I give you peace of mind? No, you don't. Chris, seriously, you're hurting me with your choice of words. Maybe that's what I should have done since. I'm tired. I can't continue to live this lifestyle anymore. Please. Just leave me alone. I am glad to have you back. And I think this is the perfect time to say this. The very first day I met you, you wowed me with your intelligence. Aside being intelligent, you are courageous. You know what you want and you go for it. And today, I want to make your dream come true. Not because you asked for it, but because I really want you. I love you, Sabrina. I love you, and I want you to be my lady. Please. You already know how I feel about you. Say so yes, I'll be your lady. So I, I promise to take you somewhere special after today. And you like it. Cancelled.
I never knew what love was until I met you. You are the only reason for my smile. Because I found the reason for my smile the very day I found you. You are everything I ever wanted in a woman. And on this special day of yours, there is no other gift that could surpass the gift of my love to you. Rena. Please, do me the honor, I mean, the greatest honor of being mine forever, <laughs> to have and to hold, to love and to cherish, as long as we live. Please, Mary. <sighs> of course I will. Put it right there. <sighs> yes, I will. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. You know what's funny about this? What? I never got to kiss you in my dream, but, but this is so surreal. I am kissing you right here, like in real life. <laughs> Thank you so much for making my dreams come true. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Mom, please, stop stressing me. I am an adult. Mom. No, I don't want to see you. As a matter of fact, Mom, I am very busy right now. Can I talk to you later, please? I'll call you. Why are you so hardened towards me? I'm your mother. Why treat me like an outcast or some sort of a stranger? Mom, I don't think we would be having this conversation if you hadn't left me when I needed you the most. Asha, I've apologized a million times to that. Please. It's fine. It's fine. I am not mad at you. I understand that you... You had to go take care of your daughter. Yes. It's fine. But please... I don't like the way you're badging on me. Let me be the one to decide when to see you. Mom, wait, did you come all the way to my office to look for me? Oh, um, wait. What did you say? She's my mom. Prina. Asha. My son, your brother.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I loved your father. I loved him so much that I had to get pregnant of you. Just to hold him down. Along the line, his parents forced him to leave me. It hurt so much. My father relocated. He left me all alone. To my world. I had to give you back when I got married to her father. Whom I never loved. Thankfully, he walked away. And I had to transfer all the hatred I had for him to Brina. Brina. This is why I treated you the way I did. So, get back, Asha. How to fight to get him back? Which was why I never get much of your quality times. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Look, Brie, I, I need you to know that whatever it is, it's not the end of the world. So please just, just calm down and tell me what's wrong. What happened? It's Asha. Asha. What, what about him? What, what did he do? Did, did he do anything to hurt you? Asha, my son, your brother. Wait, what? I, 
I don't even know what to say. That's crazy. So crazy, man. So, I don't even, so, so what are you going to do? I don't know. I really don't know about We have to do what we have to do. Do the right thing. I understand how you feel. How could you? Ah, uh, Chris, how could you? I'm sorry, Anita. It's not really what you think. Okay. So tell me, what is it? She came into my life when I needed help desperately. She rendered the help in the payment. She demanded the life. That you become her sugar boy. Hmm? <sighs> that you become a sugar boy. Anita, see, I'm sorry for everything. I'm sincerely sorry. I wish you could look into my heart and see what I feel for you. And it's I wish you could see my heart. Only if you, if you can give me some time and space. I'll figure something out, please. Philly, you sure know how to use sweet words. But look, this time, your words won't get to me. Clown. Anita, wait, oh, wait. Anita, we could get just your hands off me. We could just figure out something out, right? Anita, please. Anita, wait. Now we can just say two days. Shit! Tell you something, and I I know that this may not be the best time, but I am sorry. I just cannot wait any longer. What are you talking about? Remember when I told you that I'm in love? Yeah. Well, it is you, Bree. It is you that I'm in love with. It has always been you. I have loved you from the first day that I saw you and when you returned my wallet to me, I confirmed it in my heart. Look, I, I, I know I have struggled internally for so long trying to figure out the, the best time or the, the best way to, to say this to you, to express to you how I really feel. And you... You told me that you were in love with Asher. That was the most painful moment of my life. I felt like I was going to die. Like I said, I know this may not be the best time or place, or this may not even be the perfect words, but I've lost you once before, and I do not want to lose you again. That's why I'm telling you this now. I, I love you so, so much, much more than I can even put into words. I want you to be mine. Bree, 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 Can you imagine that? Brina, Ethan is for real. Yeah, 
Yes. He has always told me how he felt about you. But I had to draw back the moment he, he realized you and I were working things out. I think you should give him a chance, please. Listen, I am going to be here for you. I'll take care of everything that concerns you. I'll make sure you lack nothing. I've always imagined what it would feel like having a, a sibling, especially a sister. I am grateful I found you. You don't know how happy I am. I am fulfilled. I am satisfied. Please, you have to do this for us. So the earlier we get the writing, the better for us. Please. I'm sorry about the way I acted the other day. Uh, it, it's alright. I, I didn't take it to heart. Ethan, you, you're a good person. You're a good man. In fact, you're the nicest person I've ever met. You took care of me more than any family member of mine would have. You put a roof over my head when I had none. You fed me. You went out of your way to make sure I was okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all that you did for me. Without Asha in the picture, God knows I was falling for you because I never believed any man would do all you did for me without wanting or asking for anything in return. So yes, I'll be your girlfriend. For real? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> 